guys hope you're having a great day today. It is the weekend for me. It's Monday for you guys, so I hope you're having a good Monday. So this weekend I decided to film a little bit extra so you can see a little glimpse of how our weekend goes. So I've been up today. We went out and swam this morning, so that was really nice, and then had a cup of coffee, and I threw the baked French toast in the oven. I gotta learn this little oven over here. It's 350, which you always bake things at, and Greg's like, it's, are you just gonna do anything for your French toast? I'm like, no, it's fine. It's gotta bake for like 40 minutes. <laughs> I came down and like the top back of it is burned. I'm like, that's not good. It's not done yet. So I put some foil on it to let it cook the rest of the way. So I have to learn. I don't know. It's done this before with that. I can't like cook at high temperature. You just gotta, I mean, it's not even high temperature, it's 350, but just learn like, is this something you just have to do way less on? So live and learn, it happens. I'm like, scrape the crumbs off. <laughs> so got that in the oven. We gotta do some cleaning up today. It's we've got some projects to do, we got a whole lot of things. Thought I'd bring you along for a little glimpse in our weekend day. So you guys ready? All right, I'm gonna go back. We gotta throw laundry in because I'm behind in laundry. Usually that's a Monday job. Did not get done Monday. So we're gonna go have a great day. Projects, outside, food, all the good things. So you guys ready? Let's go. Everything's gonna be a quick wash kind of day because there's lots to do. There's piles there. I think I've got three baskets to get done today. So perfect, let's go in the kitchen. not cleaning this is Greg <laughs> what did he make Greg this is an IP67 don't tell me what it's for it's waterproof like enclosure box nice and this is a constant voltage constant current power supply Ooh. with a fan that Ooh. turns on when okay. it, that it gets to a certain operating temperature because it will in the 130 degree heat oh yeah for sure nice and it, it's in an airproof waterproof enclosure nice you'll yes. have to wait and see what's for today so I'm gonna you know Surprise. I'll, I'll drill a series of a million little holes, holes in the back for air to air to escape from or on the bottom like some go. anywhere somewhere there's no water going in yeah somewhere for it to draw from and nice be a surprise we'll see what he's doing today too <laughs> no. fun project We got some spilled food and we'll put these in the washer. It doesn't matter what day it is, your kitchen is always a place that's a collector of things, at least in our house, so there's always something to pick up. So I'm just picking everything up here and then I have Greg's lunch to empty and put away. One of the containers were yucky, so I'm like, ooh, I need to wash that. And they go in the washer really easily. So then when we were doing uh, the food yesterday, like everything, I was like, I told Autumn, I said, because she's my dishwasher girl, I said, let's just put everything in the dishwasher, the pots and pans and everything. So we did. So when we came home last night, we had an event to go to and there's food. So there really wasn't any need to eat too much. I think I had the rest of my salad. Greg had his ribs. And then um, that's it. So the sink, there's not that many dishes in here to clean up. But I have some washing and set them in the dishwasher just to dry so I don't have a, a space on my counter. And then uh, we'll keep working on the rest of the stuff. Okay, this came out of the oven. I had to like make sure it was cooked. Like I said, I just have to see if maybe it's, maybe it's not, obviously it's not baking evenly. The top, this cooked real fast and the rest, the rest did not. So here's your big French toast. You don't want it burned. <laughs> Could scrape that off, but this is really good. I just took a piece of it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's delicious. To avoid the crispy. That was just, uh, like I said, learning in the oven. I'm like that. I was like, I'll put it in the small one so it doesn't heat up the big oven. Mistake. So this will be good for breakfast. Let me serve it up on a plate. So the next thing I'm gonna put together, because we're gonna take Brooklyn to work here in a little bit, is the cinnamon roll monkey bread. Today is gonna be the monkey bread and apple cider slushy day, because I think we're gonna be done with the apple cider. I don't think it's gonna go much past November here. So I'm gonna put it in my um, bread dough machine, because that worked really good. So it can mix, rise, do its thing while we're gone. I'll come back, and then we'll make the, the little bunt cake thing and put it in the oven.
So I probably could just whip those eggs together and mix it all up. I'm just gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna start on my refried beans. I've got them in my crock pot here. Put them in here and let them puree. Okay, so I've got my refried beans. Those are all done. I'll put those out in the freezer in a minute. This is just adding five cups of flour to it. I think I did a little less last time and I ended up adding more. So I'll just put four cups in here and then let it mix. And then I'll put add more as it's able to. This was great. I did this last time. Get rose in here and I was like, that's nice. And just take it out and work on the dough. It is much nicer. That's, was that four? I think that was four. So let me just do mix. But we'll do some more in a minute. Okay, nice and gloppy, so I'm gonna add another cup of flour. Was that four? Let's see if it's only five cups here. Okay, I was in the house getting that kind of stuff done. Everybody's up, so it's a little bit harder to film when there's everybody everywhere. So I did all my refried beans and all my um, cream soups. I put them over here because I had no room over here because I had the um, energy bite. So I'm gonna kind of rearrange the freezer a little bit. Okay, so that's good. So in my freezer here, we have got um, all the top is most of the frozen stuff. So I've got a lot of cream soups, the cream mushroom, cream of chicken. We've got refried beans. I've got a little bit of uh, pizza, or must be tomato paste, I hope. And there's bananas in there and nacho cheese. Is that all of it? Yeah. And refried beans. That's all right there. That's all what I made. So we don't have to buy it. We have a couple things ice cream this has been in here for a long time so i'm like we need to get the ice cream up it's one of those things we had a lot of and then we didn't have any i just put the bread right here um the sticks and the um what's this right here oh actually and you know what this i had enough containers for all of my soups except i needed one bag for the crepe mushroom soup so not bad then our bread that we got this is all of our meat in here so we've got sausage there's ribs there's chicken there's burgers all the the raw meat stuff and then chicken in here and um Hamburger, and then down is where we've got sausage right here. I can go up, but I've got the down and get that chicken that I got. And then we've got our pizzas in the back for the day that we'd like to do an easier day. And then um, what do we got? Chicken tenders. There is a couple more convenience food like meatballs and pot stickers and biscuits and that. And then um, on the very bottom is like potatoes, all the potato kind of mixtures. And I put our snacks over here, the energy bites. This is granola cookies. This is the non bread couple of breads in there too and their pie crust so this is good for this one right here I'm like this is a good I feel like a good freezer kind of like my old freezer same way I used to use a couple shelves for me and the rest for all of my convenience stuff and then in here is just the potatoes and onions and we've got pickles and milk and we're gonna take out the apple cider we're gonna do slushies today and there's ribs we've got chicken here I thought that's gonna go on the smoker today and I keep all my um vegetables in this freezer over here and then my coffee too because coffee frozen is good so yeah, it's gonna be a great day we're gonna have a good day with food this is done I don't have to worry about any more food like this and then um, I just have to we had enough leftovers of the pasta and broccoli for lunch because we didn't really have that much for dinner because there was enough food at the event and then um, we will do the chicken and the smoker today and I'll make that I was gonna do some jello I just have not gotten to that yet today if I don't that's okay tomorrow next week Monday <laughs> Whatever works. So
Okay, well, I dropped Brooklyn off and came home and my bread dough was like overflowing there. So I need to, I just punched it down. I said, we'll do that in just a minute. Something I'm gonna do is make strawberry jello salad. This is something we've had for a long time. We usually make it as a staple during um, the holidays. And so just something different. I thought I'd make that for tonight in my cookbook. I was looking and I'm like, I did two things of jello. I'm only doing one. I looked everywhere. I'm like, didn't I have two packages? So downsizing. So we're gonna just do, um, how much is it? Is it four cups? Two cups of boiling water and two cups. So you have four cups. So this I think is gonna be about one cup here. So whatever the difference is, just add, you know, less take in consideration how much your pears are. You wanna puree the pears, mix the gel up, put it all together. I'm just gonna puree it together. Put in Cool Whip and you can either do it all at once, wait till it gets a little bit thicker and add it in. I'm just gonna do it at once. It'll separate a little bit, but not a big deal to taste delicious. One of my kids' favorites. Today's one of those days where you feel like just a, a lazy Saturday. I was like, I just want to go home and go to bed. <laughs> like, I don't feel like doing a whole lot, but I'm like, I know I have to do something. So I'm like, you know what? It's 12 o'clock right now. I'm like, why don't I just finish my food, which is this jello. Tonight I'm going to do um, a thing of rice and then we're going to do some chicken on the smoker. It'll be really easy, but I might even change my mind. Should I do something different? Do I have anything different? I was thinking I could do um, potatoes or something. Hmm, wait for my, I could do my, I'm just thinking I could probably do my orzo or something, or we can just have our broccoli and cheese pasta because we have a lot of that too. Maybe I'll just do that. We'll see what we have. I'll see what we got rolling. And then, um, easy day. I'm going to try to get done. And then the kids, they'll come help with the chores. So hold on a second. This will be two cups and two cups. That'll be four. The kids will come help with chores. Um, we're doing laundry, so it'll be laundry put away, towels fold. I just did the floor. The floor needed to be washed so bad. I don't know. Something dropped and got droplets all on the floor and then you know how dirt sticks to it makes like a big mark <laughs> so i'm like that doesn't look very good so we need to mop it so i came right away i'm like i'm gonna clean this floor really good so that part's done there's other deep cleaning i could do but the floor is something that was really dirty and i wanted to get done so i'm like my goal is to get my jello here i'm gonna get the cinnamon rolls maddie said she wants to help with that get that rolling get the apple cider in the slushy machine and then um go chill by the pool for a while sit out in the pool because the sun is out it's beautiful it's 87 degrees right now i'm like oh oh yeah i get used to that so what i'm gonna do sometimes it's good to let this sit we got no time to sit people put this all in the blender this is what you're doing mix it up okay so what i do right now not everybody would agree to do this right now but i'm going to i'm going to put my whip topping right in here right now because I don't want to put this in the fridge and wait till it gets hard because I'll probably completely forget about it and then it'll be just a waste. It'll be hard or I can put it in now and all it's going to do is it's going to mix it up real liquidy and then it's going to separate and then um, so in the bowl there will be the more of the cool whippy stuff on top and the red gel on the bottom and whatever works. So I'm going to put this in here. I probably it's one of these big containers for double the rest of the like normal size recipe. I probably should have half, but I didn't. It works. Okay, let's put this in here. Mix this up. Beautiful. It's beautiful pink. It looks great. Okay, so let me go get myself a glass bowl to put this in. I'm gonna put together for the cinnamon monkey bread. So it's basically cinnamon and sugar. And then you take, um, I need to get another bowl here. Okay. Just a small one, let me go over here. I'm gonna use my blue bowl right here. So you need, is it a half a cup? A half a cup, can I just, sorry, I'm thinking out loud. Do half a cup, sugar and cinnamon, then you dip it in. I just need like three quarters of a cup. It's like all this, you know when it separates. You know when the butter separates. Oh, my utensils are not put away yet. Let's stir that a little bit. There we go. Okay. We need more. We'll get some out. So what you do is you basically get the dough, which is all this. We're ready to roll with it. Oh yeah, great dough. The dough is amazing and spongy. Look at this. It's so great. Good. 
good dough. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Maddie come with me here. We are going to spray the bunt pan really well. Don't be afraid not to be good because you don't want this sticking. All right. Then what you do, I'm just double checking the recipe. This is from um, Sally's Baking Addict. Addiction. <laughs> I was thinking Sally's big addiction. So you're basically making little balls. So small little balls. And then I'm going to dump them in the, sh the butter, dump them in the cinnamon sugar, and put them in the pan. And then when that's all set, you melt some more butter, which I have with brown sugar and vanilla, and you pour it on top. I know, so much sugar, but it's so delicious. And then um, we will be putting it in the oven to bake. So let's mix this up. Okay, Maddie did a really good job. She finished that up for me. I totally didn't film. I walked away and I was like, there was no footage. I'm like, did it film you? <laughs> so, look at things. While she was doing that, I was flipping laundry, hanging up laundry, helped Greg carry some stuff outside, and then she is going outside or to the garage. She's getting her apple cider, and we are going to put that in the slushy machine, and then we can have the, the last of the fall foods here apple cider and then we'll do the cinnamon monkey bread to really really make this if you have a family event like a brunch make it because it's so so good okay maddie oh maddie's gonna do our slushy okay outside I hear noise over here, Maxine going crazy on the neighbor dog. She can't quite get her. I thought I'd come over and see what Greg's doing over here. Greg's in a project. Huh? So Greg's in a project and smell it. She's like going. What are you doing over here, babe? Okay, okay sorry. So what's I'm Greg doing over here? Your caramel apples. <laughs> Amy's just laughing because she came out here and I had caramel apple all, all over so my face like a little child. <laughs> I was like, hey, let me clean your face up for you. <laughs> it's all good. I've been many times with stuff in my teeth or oh stuff my in goodness, my face. Yeah. I'm like, oh, there's a big smear of chocolate on me. I don't even see it. And I'm sure it. everybody gives you grace and no one says anything. Never, never. <laughs> How dare she? It's so good. Hey, Amy, you got like a big chia seed in your Really? Teeth. Thank you. I figured that out after. <laughs> It's all good. So what's Greg doing today? I am doing the coolest project that I've ever done in the history of our marriage. Oh, bam, bam, bam. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I am making a salt generator. What? Our salt generator went out about a month ago, mm -hmm. I think it was. And just through research and stuff like that, we learned they're like 1300 bucks for the replacement. Because we lost, now we not only lost the generator, but the power supply that comes with the generator. Yeah. So I thought there can't be that much into one of these salt generators. And there's literally a market, like one company makes them, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. a, couple of them. a couple of them do, but, but they're all very expensive. Expensive, very. So most people just give up and just say, yeah. forget it. Yeah, we'll just go. put a chlorine tablet go, in the middle of the pool chlorine, or whatever. Yeah. But we just happen to like really super love the salt, like the salt, the velvety feel of like right. the salt water. So I thought, there can, I mean, we just did electrolysis projects in the house and stuff with the kids, the kids? It's, it's literally like the simplest process of all time right you know but gaining the materials is really super hard because titanium and ruthenium are like uh precious this is i, I don't blah, know what they are yeah, 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 <laughs> no, like an expensive metal right. and they're hard to come by and it's it's very expensive even the coatings you know because i was thinking about electroplating the titanium myself and all that stuff too much looked into it all you know getting the power supply to do such things is no problem but the chemicals is the right. issue yeah so i i found a source that uh will custom make <laughs> like plates for me so I can design the plates in solid work send them to them and they'll give me exactly what I need same it's crazy yeah so what I'm doing right now is I've, I've, I've taken the old power supply off the wall and uh, you know the new you can one. see the guts yeah so there's the new power supply for the new cell love it and there's a there's a timer involved and uh, like a trigger signal from the flow switch and the flow sensor it's just very cool it's like all the 
like really cool all the stuff I like. Yes. So, in depth, but pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. And no big deal. We could have just went out and bought like a thirteen hundred dollar thing, but who wants to spend thirteen hundred dollars? Yeah, replacement. I like know, no big deal. I got Christmas decorations to buy. Yeah, but <laughs> like the holidays are coming. Right. And I love these kind of things. So I'm like I asked Amy, I said, let me give it, let me try it first, because it just seems like such a cool project. And then if I fail, and I'm going to go buy another one. Here it is. And it, and it may, and it's making it. Oh, yeah. Like it's testing yeah, we've out. Yeah, I've done some test runs on it and stuff like and that. And it literally makes the chlorine, and so it's very cool. Yeah, and we, we put it in a clear tube. So you can see it. So I can see if it gets calcification, or if it right. gets any, you know, particles on it or anything. I had one instance where I, I, uh, I left it on and the pool pump automatically throttles itself down yeah. and it started it started to make a little bit of crud on the on some of the plates yeah. so i reversed polarity yeah, and just watched it blow all the stuff off of That's the plates crazy. and clean itself so i've got a you know in the software that I, you program for the timer and stuff like that it has a you know time on time off and then it has like a reverse polarity switch for cleaning and all that awesome. kind of stuff so it's like a whole software thing, hardware thing, just very cool. It's a lot of in-depth stuff, so, yeah, so they, will sweet. they see today? The, they'll see it working, Oh, yeah. Right? Yep, they'll see it bubbling away. So fun. Okay, so he's going to sit out here in the blaring house, and I can't even oh, see. I'm so, just like sitting here, I'm like, so brilliant I'm going to go sit in the pool a little bit. I'm almost there. <laughs> you should, for sure. Today <laughs> I'm almost is, there. Today is a Sunday. Man. It's a beautiful oh. day, so we'll come back and check in the progress. Good <sighs> okay. luck, babe. Thanks. Good. <laughs> this is where I want to be. He's drilling holes. This is where I want to be today. We'll get there. So, slushy maker is making the slushies. And what I'm gonna do now is, it's Saturday and it's a little bit slower, so you hear that? The kids are gonna come and we're gonna do a quick, like, help with the laundry, put the dishes away. Just real quick, get that done so we can be finished easy. So we can come out here and swim. So we made lunch, I just realized my microphone was done. Got lunch, we got egg salad sandwich here. Maddie's pulling out some broccoli and pasta and chicken. And then we had the pickles too, these are really good. They're really good even the next day. Sometimes they take a lot of time. That little, maybe that little crisper stuff I added is so, so good. So we're going to eat these. Easy day. It's like done. The cinnamon rolls are in the oven. The house smells delicious. I'm done. I'll probably go put some laundry in my room while I'm waiting for the rolls. And then I'm going to go ahead to the pool. Okay, we've been on a phone call with Evan, so we're making phone calls with Evan, so Maddie's gonna finish up our cinnamons. today today got um it got enjoyable <laughs> so what we did is um i was filming doing my thing and then i was on the phone talking to evan for a little bit so we had a long conversation it was really good got to talk on the phone for a little bit and then um i had to go pick up brooklyn so i got brooklyn then the kids came out and ate the pasta and broccoli and cheese recipe so um they had that and then i was like hmm i don't really feel like cooking chicken in the smoker like I don't, I just want to go sit in the pool and swim and enjoy it because it was so warm. It was, it was like 90 today. It was beautiful. And so I came home and I'm like, you know what, let me swim first. So we swam for about a half hour. And then I'm like, I'm going to sit in the sun for about a half hour. So I sat over there in the chair, sat right over there for about 20 minutes. And then I went in the house and I was like, you know what, why don't I cook the chicken in the smoker? I'll throw it out here and then I'll throw some pizzas in too. <laughs> so the pizzas work great for a Saturday night meal. So we're gonna have pizzas tonight and then the chicken will be done. I realized those were the ones, remember I cut them up months ago? It was a few months ago I did all those little freezer chicken meals and um, those, 
they're like kebabs. So I didn't do the kebabs, obviously. I'm like, oh, there's like chunks of them. That's okay. So I'm gonna put those in the smoker for tonight and then tomorrow after church, we'll have those. I'm like, that'll work out. Cause otherwise I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. We might go to the beach. I just don't know. I, it just, it, you know what? We play everything by ear based on what we have to do at home and all that stuff. So I'm thinking, let me just cook that and it'll be done. So we're cooking pizzas tonight. That was what we used our freezer pizzas for. And then um, the chicken and the air fryer, or in the air fryer, in the smoker. And that'll be delicious, but it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous day. It is like warm and sunny. It's 90. I can't believe how hot it is. I'm like, where did it get hot all of a sudden? It's hot. It's been hot, but it's definitely got a little bit warmer. So Greg's been over there calculating the salt generator, getting that, working on that. And so I'm thinking just this is going to be my easy day today. So relaxing. We're going to have to take Brooklyn. has got to work tonight a little bit too. So she's busy, busy girl on Saturday. And then um, we'll go for a bike ride, take a little walk around the neighborhood. And then we will um, come swim and then end our night tonight. So I'm thinking that's going to be the way it is. We were out here yesterday and the sky was so clear and beautiful. Like right now, look up there is like 10,000 birds just flying so high. I, look, that's like, can you see that? There is like, that's a lot of black birds. That's weird. They're like still coming. That's really weird. They start way down there. They go down here. Anyways, so we outside, what do we see? We saw a bald eagle. Do you remember when bald eagles used to be rare? Like I remember seeing one once in my life. We saw one up in Grayley, Michigan. We were camping one time. And then we saw one in North Carolina. And then, um, or actually no, I didn't see one in North Carolina. I saw two here in Florida, just fly overhead. Remember when they used to be like almost extinct? Are they not extinct anymore and they're everywhere? It literally just flew over our house. And I was like, is that a bald eagle? I'm like, that is so weird. So we saw that, we saw the, the stars were out and we got to see a shooting star last night. So that was pretty neat. I'm like, I haven't seen that in, since Michigan. So that was pretty cool to see the shooting stars. So just neat little discoveries in the sky. Beautiful because it's so open and just clear and just really, really nice. Also, I'm looking at those birds. What are those things? They're everywhere. It's like an infestation of birds. They're like all over. They're really high up though. So I don't know. Huh. Different. Anyways, okay, I'm going to stop staring at this guy. I'm going to just cook this chicken and cook the pizza, and that's going to be our dinner for the evening. So, a great day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, the nighttime hours upon us. We are going to, we just had to drop Brooklyn off, and then we are going to go grab Maxine and go head for a walk. Look, we got our little fall lights out here. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go get rollerblade kids and the dog. All right, Maxine's going for a walk. You ready? She's like, let's go. We're going for a walk. Go for a nice walk. We need her walk. Hi. Good night. I came out and the pool lights weren't on, and I'm like, just so gents, and I'm like, ah. Uh. Like, make some, throw Maxine out here or something, because I'm afraid there's going to be an alligator in the pool or something. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but like, You don't ever know. Greg, I'm fun. Yeah, I, I turned all the power off or whatever, not thinking about when I was working on my power supply. It's all good. So it's good. We're still here swimming. You smell chlorine? Chlorine's working. I smell chlorine. We have the salt turner to working. Yep. Yeah. I, I uh, came up against a couple new obstacles today that were, that I didn't expect. It's good. It's yeah. learning. Yeah. I mean, you know, how many people build a salt generator? <laughs> no, not too, n not anyone I know. Right. So I'm sure you're going to find some things on there yeah. <laughs> that are not going to work. Yeah. So it's oh, look at who's here. <laughs> it's the weenus. Hello. These kids try to get this dog in the pool all the time. And she, has, <laughs> does, she doesn't even like bath. So. No. But now she'll like go. She'll uh, come and float down. She'll go on the floaty. Maxine. <laughs> Poor dog. He's good. Yep. You love it. She's like, just give me off here, mom. Yeah. Gentle, thank you. But we pretty much both worked today. and It was a good day. It was a great day. Got a lot day. done. Mm -hmm. and Got our walk in. Got a nice, nice walk, and now we'll yeah. spend for the night and call it a day. The evening nights are nice. The evening night it's walks beautiful. are beautiful. It's so yeah. nice. Yeah, you can like go out. It's, it's the perfect cool. time. It's like a nice weather. So it was, it was literally 85 degrees today. Oh, it was. I think the house once said 89. I was completely sweating yeah, in my shirt. It was, it was pretty toasty. Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's okay. So we're excited for the temperature to start going down a little bit. <laughs> Enjoy some. I mean, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice now. So. Yeah, it hasn't rained and I can't remember when. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. No complaining from me. <laughs> yep. So, oh, and you're not breaking out with your rash. Rash, anymore, no rash, so. no. No. <laughs> Once in a while it's a little chilly, but not yeah. very often. <laughs> yep. Early in the morning and later in the evening yep. or whatever. That's but. it. Very manageable and good. So yeah, swim. it's getting nice. So we'll have a, we'll have a good six months of mm -hmm. weather for getting out and getting the kids out and doing stuff. 
it's gonna be good. So. Well, hello, hello everyone. Folks. Hello. It's oh, let's get some. Let's get some backdrop. Come over here okay. under the shade, oh. and then we'll come this way. Give them some. some pause. There's our weekend there we vlog. There it is. We're out for our Sunday. We're continuing the vlog. I decided to do that. So nice. We came to the beach. What is it? We're going Minnesota. It's called. We and want this is supposed to be volume over quality over or something? Qu quantity over quality there you go shark teeth so we're yeah. gonna see if a uh, whole new beach but there's like looks like nobody's even searching they're all sitting enjoying it so i don't know yeah it looks, gonna, it looks gorgeous right here we're gonna go see so let's go see the beach yes turn your camera here and show them all the palms going right here that is all that right here let's go explore we can go in anywhere you find out Flattered. Yeah, it's not very good. People are scooping though. Uh huh? People are scooping. So we had to do some walking to get away from people, but you can. You get over here, so look at this is the pile. This is where I feel like our shark teeth are gonna be. That's a lot. That's it. Look at all these. I bet you there's shark teeth all day long. Well, we're literally here for two hours and then we'll. Look at all these. Oh, like when this be shark teeth? It's not. Looks like a shell. Oh, it's such a long walk. You find anything in the. I was like, no. I don't think so. There's like broken ones. I bet you if you dig down in I'm sure. What? Oh, <laughs> got your guy to bring. That's good. Lots of little ones. Tiny shells. I like the sand here. It's not too bad, is it? Look at these. These are fun. How many shells am I going to take? Remember. These are nice little ones. Hey, another shark too. This is my lucky day. Did you find one? Yeah, look at it. Where? It's called the pizza tooth. And that's what I see. This is what Jensen says is the shark tooth. This is the one I would say would be a shark tooth too. The shark tooth. It's a fake one. It's the one we think is a shark tooth. <laughs> That's what I always think it is too. Hey, more that is so cool about this little area where it deposits all these shells. Mm -hmm. There's what like just. Are these? Are they, is it like dead coral? Uh, it might be something. I'm keeping it. That's yeah. When it's real porous like that, I think that's oh, exactly what I it is. Now one of the. That already found a shark. I did. I got one. I got the first one. Honey, good spot you put us on here. Oh, there's another wait, one. Wait, oh, yeah, right there now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, Two shark teeth. Okay, we're, this one's got a bunch over here. I just found like three in here. See all these black ones? Let's see. Let's see if we can find some. Is that one right there? There's it's like a broken one. Look at all the tiny shells, they're so pretty. There's so little. I wonder if there's any in the water. We haven't gone in the water yet. Look at so, all. I know, see, we got so a bunch. I don't know if that, is yeah, that one? It is. Like I said, you see that see jaw, piece jaw piece there. Nice. So awesome. Love it, baby. I'm going to see if there's anything. Okay, let's go out here and see. Water's a little chilly. Very chilly. Oh, look at all these. There's so many. I'm going to have to bring these up, but I only got one hand. Oh yeah, right there. See, there's one. Right there. Oh, that's a cute shell. Look at that. Oh, babe, I got three just by scooping up in the water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I think it's use those, but... Yeah, that's okay. What is that? Well, look at that. Wow, look at that. Oops. 
All right, babe, just from the water. Is this one right here? Is that one or is that just a uh, stone? I think that's just a stone. Okay, look at there's one right there. Oh my gosh. And is that one, is that a Looks stone? Looks like it, yeah. So this would not, and look at that little shell. That's pretty. What is it? This is the jetty. Is it just a bird bobbing up and down? It could be. It's so pretty. Oh, look at it, look at it. It's a huge bird, whatever it is. I guess a pelican. Pelican over there. Yeah. So nice. Look at that. Alright, this is our weekend vlog, how it ends. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, everyone. Bye. Good to see you.